All right, welcome back to another lesson in our Patterns and Equations unit, and we're just going to get started right here. And I have um, some dot paper here, and uh, please forgive me. I mean, I tried my best to get these triangles to line up to the dots, but I think you can kind of, kind of see. Um, I have a pattern going with these triangles, and each triangle, this is important, has two equal sides. That means that... Um, it's this side and this side of each triangle is the exact same length, okay? Now, this pattern is going to continue, and ultimately, we want to know what the pattern is on the 12th triangle. Um, to start this off, though, we need to make a table, okay? So, um, we're going to call this the first triangle, this the second triangle, triangle number three, triangle number four, triangle number five and I'm actually going to enter that into my table here triangle number is one two three four and five okay now the number of dots on the perimeter okay so that if you don't know perimeter perimeter is the distance around something okay and so um, we're going to say that um, when we go around this first triangle it's got one two and then three uh, root to go there, so we're going to call that three dots around the perimeter. Okay, so if you don't, if you can't really see the dots, there's one there, one there, and one there. Okay, and again, I tried my best to um, to let them show up, but not quite. Okay, uh, the second triangle, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and if you can't really see that, imagine where the dots would be. Um, from the other dots on the paper. Okay, so we have six on this one, okay? Uh, triangle number three, there's one, two, three, four, and I'm looking at the guides up here. Uh, there'd be one here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if you notice a pattern going here yet, but um, let's continue. On uh, triangle number four, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to let you stop and consider that for a second. Do you want to take a, a wild guess at what, what uh, triangle number 5, how many dots would be? Got it? Did you guess 15? If not, let's see if 15 works. Okay, I'm going to predict here. Uh, triangle number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There'd be one there. 7, be one here. 8, 9, 10, 11, that should be there. 12, 13, 14, 15. Do I know the future or is there a pattern here? Okay, so if you didn't see that and I recopied the, the table over there. One pattern rule for the number of dots on this perimeter is we start at 3, we add 3 each time. That's what we could say. We start at 3 and in our table here we can see we're starting at 3 and each time we're adding 3 each time we're adding three okay etc or we could say the triangle number is multiplied by three so if you imagine one times three two times three three times three oops four times three five times three that is another way we could say this okay so either or works okay now remember the original question was um what's the 12th triangle okay what would be the 12th triangle well if we're going to do the 12th triangle we can skip count by three 12 times okay and that uh, that works either way for each pattern rule we can skip count so i wrote those out here we have 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 would be in there 24 27 30 33 and 36 that's 12 skip counts so the answer would be um so dot 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 12 would be 36 dots okay because we just used a pattern rule to help us get the answer so the 12th triangle will have 36 dots on its perimeter. But do you think any triangle will have 22 dots on its perimeter? Well, the answer is no for two reasons. I already gave you all the numbers and I didn't see 22 anywhere there. Uh, 21 is the closest. Um, and 22, you can't multiply anything or skip count anything by 3 to get 22. So it's impossible. Okay, I'm going to get you to try this one. Um, we have this, this place called Pizza Parlor, and they have prices that follow a pattern. And I'd like you to write a separate pattern rule for the pizza slice, sorry, the pizza size, the price with the cheese, and the price with two toppings. Now I'm gonna skip back one slide, 
Okay, pattern rules. The ones I like, we say where we start and what we're doing each time. That's what I would recommend. Um, so start somewhere, what is happening in the pattern, okay? So looking at, I've asked you to find a pattern rule for pizza size, the price with cheese, and the price with two toppings. Get you to pause that and check out if your answers are correct. Okay. So if we'll start with pizza size, where does it start? It starts at, so what size? It start at four. Oops, start at four. And we're adding four each time. Okay. The price with cheese, we're starting at five dollars. It's important to put the unit in there if there's a unit. Start at five dollars. And if you don't notice, 5, 10, 15, 20, we're adding $5 each time. And, for, sorry, that was the cheese. And the two toppings start at $7. Add, um, well, we didn't fill this in, but you can see they're starting to go up $5 each time as well. Okay. So I really should fill this in. That should be $25 here. That would be 22. And that would be 27. Okay. Well, suppose the pattern in the table continues. What is the price for a 48 slice pizza? This is a ridiculous question. There's no such thing as a 48 slice pizza. Um, but just imagine there, there would be, what is the price for a 48 slice pizza with two toppings? And how is the price of a pizza with two toppings related to the price of a pizza with cheese? So I'm going to get you to consider what this is. The pattern rule should continue. We're going to fill this in and we want to know ultimately what is the price for a 48 slice pizza with two toppings. Okay. Pause that for a sec, write on a scrap piece of paper and come back. Now, first of all, I eliminated, just for the sake of space, the pizza number one and two. Um, I just couldn't fit all that space in there. So pizza number six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? And remember the pattern here was, well, we can start a new one. Start at 12 now, add four each time. So 24 slices, 28 slices, 32 slices, 36 slices, 40 slices. 44 slices and there's that 48 slice pizza that we're going to invent okay and then we had a pattern rule where we started at um with price of cheese i think we started at five we had five each time here we got started at 15 at we're going to add five each time so 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and it costs six dollars right that's the answer to our first question what is the price for 48 slice pizza with with cheese no that's not what i asked i asked for two toppings so we need to do this other one this one was start at um i think it started at seven at five each time and so we're going to start at the 17 we're going to add five that's 22 add five is 27 add two is 32 add uh, another five, 37, 42. There's even a pattern here. It goes two, seven, two, seven, uh, 47, 52, 57, 57. And this pizza should be $62. So what is the price for a 48 slice pizza with two toppings? The answer is $62. Okay, now I asked you, how is the price of pizza with the two toppings? How is it related to this cheese one? Do you notice anything that's happening as we go down? It seems that it adds two dollars for the the price of toppings. So you might want to you might say two toppings cost two extra dollars on the cheese there. So that's how they're related. We 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 could have figured out the answer just by looking at this you know, finding this and then adding that $2. That could have been another option there, okay? All right, so I try to find a real life example except for the size of the pizza, which is ridiculous, um, of where you can use a pattern to uh, find answers, 
Okay, so please remember, in life, math happens.